Today on our Harley Davidson touring bike, we're going to be taking a look at installing the B&W Biker Bar Motorcycle Tie Down System for trailers. Part number BWMC2301. Now you can see that our bike has no, no additional straps any place on the bike holding it down. It's only secured by the frame at the bottom and it's in there nice and tight, not going to go anywhere, ready for years and miles of safe travel. Now here's what it looks like once it's installed. Now as you can see, our bike is nice and secure and this bracket is completely removable by taking out these two 5 8 bolts and you'll have a nice flat floor to use again until you're ready to haul your bike. It's going to be a simple design. It's going to attach in two, two points to your motorcycle, two clamps around the frame that are neoprene coated to protect your frame and it's going to tighten up on this handle right here and that's what's going to tighten up your bracket. Now if you're hauling this on an open trailer, it does have a, a point where you can attach a padlock through here to secure the clamp to the bike and there's also a, a position for a padlock on this side that's going to go through that will secure your bar to the bracket. Now the idea behind the clamp to the bracket and mounting it securely to the floor, this is going to become an extension of the suspension of your trailer. So your motorcycle is going to be slightly have a slightly compressed suspension, so you're going to use your trailer suspension to make your motorcycle stay secure in your trailer as you go down the road. Now our mounting plate dimensions are going to be 25 inches long and 6 and 3 quarter inch wide with the distance between the mounting holes on center to center at 23 and 1 quarter. These clamps are designed to work on a 1 and 8 to 1 and a quarter inch tube on your frame rail. This is a custom fit bracket that will only fit the Harley Davidson Touring motorcycle. It's a fairly easy install. It's going to require you to drill the two large 5 8 diameter holes and then whether you're mounting it through the floor or just screwing into the bottom side of it You'll either have four holes on the outside or you'll have four lag screws from the bottom holding the plate that's on the other side of the floor. And the part that attaches to your motorcycle is strictly a clamp-on design. It does not require any drilling or permanent mounting. And you, one special note, you do not want to ride your bike with the bar installed just to put it on the trailer because it could interfere with your feet where they come in contact on the ground, possibly causing an issue. We're not going to have any tie-down straps attached to our handlebars or a wheel chalk we're going to have to drive our front tire into. You're simply going to drive your bike into the bracket. It's going to lock it securely. You're going to get off it and you're ready to roll. So now we have our brackets mounted to the floor. We're only going to have access through these two large 5 8 holes. So we'll take our plate when we're ready to put our bike in, we can place our bolts to the holes in the floor. Then you would just run them down. And we'll be ready to tow. After you're done hauling your bike, and you want to use your trailer for something else, you just loosen up those two bolts, remove the plate, and now you have a nice flat floor to work with. Now let's go ahead and show you how to install it. Now this is what your kit's going to consist of. This is our locking base, the clamp on bar that's going to attach to the frame of your motorcycle. When you're going to load it, you're just going to clamp this on your bike. And you're going to ride your bike into here. Once you get all the way to the end, it's going to snap and lock into position. This is completely adjustable for your frame of your motorcycle. We're going to have these plates you're going to be on the bottom side of the floor of your trailer where the base plate will sit on the top and it'll be secured by these large bolts that'll go through the floor. Now the only thing not supplied with your kit is going to be the two carriage bolts or t uh, lag bolts depending on the style of your trailer that you're going to attach this plate to make this plate permanent so you can remove the base plate out of your trailer if you want a flat surface for another reason you're going to use your trailer. Here we are at a motorcycle. We're going to go ahead and attach our bracket to the frame so we can get a measurement from the center point of our bracket to the front of our tire 
so we can determine the location in our trailer to mount our bracket. Now our instructions are going to tell you that we want to mount this in the, about the center line between the transmission and the engine so we can get to the center of, the via, center of our motorcycle. So we're going to put it in about this area here. This has neoprene liners that's going to attach around your frame. But when it attaches to your frame, you want to make sure that you're not going to pinch any wiring or brake lines that might be in the way. Now we can go ahead and attach it to the bottom side of our bike. And you can see this is fully adjustable by taking this and just backing out this bolt that's going to let you run it in or out to clamp around your frame. Now once you've got your point picked out, as we have, go ahead and put a little bit of paint mark on there so when next time you're going to hitch up your bike, make, your, make the process a little quicker and easier. So we'll take it and we'll grab it around the other side. Now I've already checked the other side, there's nothing that's going to be in, interfering with us on that side. Then we're going to bring it up to this side. We'll slide it in. Once we have it slid in, then we'll just take this and we can adjust it. We're going to run this up. You always want to make sure that you're not pushing on anything that shouldn't be. And we're going to tighten this down. You want to make sure it's nice and tight because this is the only support you're going to have by clamping that's going to clamp onto your motorcycle before it goes into your base plate. We're going to measure from the center of our bar to the front of our bike, which is about 50 and a half inches. It's going to let us know how far back we can set the base plate in our trailer. So you want to keep in mind that the measurements may be different on your bike depending on which style of bike you have and which set of tires and wheels setup that you have. It's just going to give you a good starting point so you can have an idea where you want to mount your base plate. And you want to leave a little bit of room between the front tire and the front of your trailer. If you're going to be hauling just one bike, you want to make sure you put it in the middle of your trailer. That way you can keep the load set centered on your trailer. So we'll center the, our bracket into the middle of our trailer. Once we have our location picked out where we're going to mount it, we can go ahead and drill a couple of pilot holes before we have to drill the hole for our 5 8 bolt to go through the floor of our trailer. Now you want to take into account that you want to have room to mount this plate without any interference of the frame rails that are going to be running underneath the bottom side of the trailer. On this trailer we're going to go ahead and put a couple of carriage bolts that are not supplied that we're going to pick up at the hardware store down through the floor. It's going to keep this plate intact when you take out this bolt, this large 5 8 bolt and you can remove this bracket. All you'll have on the floor is going to be that small hole for this bolt to go through and the trailer will be useful for other, for other things. We're going to go ahead and drill a couple of small pilot holes just to make sure that we're, we're not going to come into any contact under the floor. Then we're just going to double check on the bottom side to make sure we're not going <clears> to <throat> come into contact with the frame rail on the bottom side of our trailer. Now we've determined that our plate's going to fit just fine where we have it. Now I'm going to take a 7 8 hole saw. It's going to be a little bit of extra room for our bolt to slip in and out of there without it making it hard to move the bolt out of the floor. And we'll just drill a little hole. And we'll do the same thing for the other hole. And then we can go ahead and set our bracket into place. Now we'll take, take our base plate. You want to make sure that the openings are facing to the rear so you can drive into them. And we'll drop our bolts through the holes, our 5 8 bolts. Then we'll go ahead and attach our plates to the floor. And here you can see from the bottom side where we have our plate mounted. I'm going to go ahead and run these up until it sets up against the floor. We'll do that on both sides. It's going to take two people to do this particular part of the operation with your trailer. Now once we have started in the position where we're going to mount them, we're going to take our drill bit, depending on what size hardware you use, we're going to use some 3 8 We're going to put some carriage bolts to hold the plate to the bottom of our trailer. So we're going to go ahead and drill up from the bottom side. Now when you're doing this, you want to make sure you have these to the outside of the frame rail because we want to have our carriage bolt underneath our base plate. Now we'll drop our bolt through, put some flat washers and lock washers on, and we can tighten them up and go on to the other side. 
Now we've gone ahead and dropped our bolts through. We're going to take a, flat, a large flat washer and a little smaller one and a lock washer and a nut that we picked up at our local hardware store. Start those on. And we'll keep that on this one. And we'll go ahead and run those down to attach our plate to the bottom of the trailer. And we'll repeat this process on the other side. Now we're going to want to go ahead and stand our bike up straight. You're going to want to measure from the center of the bar to the ground to see if our adjustment on our bracket is going to be proper for your particular bike. Now ours is going to be about four and a half inches. So we'll go ahead and check our bracket and see if that's going to be about in the same area. Now once we've determined the height that our bar needs to be on our bike, we've gone ahead and set our adjusting points, which are going to be on the sides here. You can just loosen up these two bolts and you can adjust your clamp up or down depending on your, on your application. And then we'll tighten those back down and we're ready to test fit our motorcycle. Now you've seen us lock it into position. When you've reached your location after you've trailered your bike and you're ready to go, you can either have a friend help you or you can do it by yourself by simply pushing down the small tab here and then stepping down on the large one. That's going to release. You do the same thing on both sides. And you can just slide your bike back out of it. Once you get outside and put your kickstand down, loosen up on this connector here, back it off, take off your bracket, and you're ready to ride. When you're ready to go back in and put your bike away in your trailer, you're going to replace this bar, tighten it up, and you're going to just drive it in, or you can push it in until both sides lock and you're secure, ready to tow your bike. And that's going to do it for our look at and install of the B&W Biker Bar Motorcycle Tie Down System for Trailers, part number BWMC2301, on our Harley-Davidson Touring Motorcycle.